<clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number nine lightweight in the world right now, and that is contender Zaur Abdullayev. Uh, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Abdullayev, you know, has quietly um, been floating around the top 10 for a while. He previously was not ranked in my top 10, but he was very close last year. Um, and, you know, you really have to look at this guy's resume. It's not, it's not fucking bad at all. His lone defeat was to Devin Haney years ago when he got knocked out and um, in four rounds against Haney. So, okay, you can give uh, Haney credit, you know, because he handed a good lightweight a knockout loss. But since then, he hasn't lost a fight. He's 18 and one overall with 11 knockouts. He's 29 years old, so he's in his physical prime. This past year, he went 2-0. and He took out a guy named uh, Ricardo Nunez, 10 round unanimous decision over him, and then took on uh, Roman Andreev, and stopped him in three rounds. He also uh, had a comeback win last year in 2022. He had a comeback win behind on the cards to stop former three division world champion Jorge Linares. So Abdullayev is a good solid ass fighter. His rankings though, he's not highly rated. It's, it's weird. He's the WBO's number 10 and the WBA's number 11 fighter right now. But I believe he's one of those guys because Haney uh, handed him his only defeat that other guys might want to face. I don't think he's anywhere close to a title shot unless you factor in a guy like Shakur Stevenson who's going to be starving to find a decent opponent. And Stevenson might take on Abdullayev just to try to see how he does against the guy that Devin Haney knocked out a few years ago. Um, but just to get uh, another somewhat top 10 opponent in the ring. You know, so Abdullayev, again, flying under the radar, but he has a decent resume. And I think he's a guy worth taking a risk on if you're a fighter like Shakur Stevenson, you know? Again, if he doesn't get a Stevenson showdown this year, he's gonna have to earn it. He's gonna have to do that, try to move himself in position for a title shot against somebody you know, and a final eliminator because it's a loaded division. But he's also one of those guys that I think will say fuck it and maybe take opportunities that most guys wouldn't take. So I can see good things happening for Abdullayev if he's willing to take some chances and also if he's just patient enough, some more and waits around for a guy like, again, Shakur Stevenson to invite him in for a title shot. We'll see if he gets the opportunities in 2024. I really hope he does. And that's it. That's what I got. That's my number nine lightweight in the world right now at 135 pounds as my 2023 top 10s continue. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.